Hello, this is Marcus Thoral, Principal Solution Architect at Broadcom. In this demonstration, we will show how to configure port channels when connecting UCS Fabric Interconnect with FCOE to Brocade SAN, supported with the FC32-64 blade. Let's first review the setup. As we see on the diagram, we have a UCS chassis with B-series servers connected to two FI6332-16UP which are connected to respectively Brocade Fabric A and Fabric B with 40 gig Ethernet to the FC32-64 blades. Let's now go through the configuration steps. Since we need to perform the configuration on both Fabric Interconnects as well as the SAN fabrics, we will go through the steps fairly quick, but you'll get a chance to see the same configuration twice. We start the configuration in Fabric A. First we want to validate that we have the correct blade, the FC32-64 blade, uh, which has ID 204. Then the next thing we need to do is configure E nodes. E nodes are equivalent to VF ports. We configure 10 in this example here you will need one VF port per port channel that you're connecting, regardless of how many links within the port channel. It's supported with up to 1600 E nodes. The next step we need to do is to configure the ports into Ethernet. So the flex ports are per default set as FC ports. So first we need to disable the ports, and then secondly we set them to Ethernet mode. With the ports in Ethernet mode, we now configure a VLAN to carry FCOE. We can have one VLAN per fabric, and in this case here, we call the VLAN uh, 1111. Then we configure the port channel with the parameters for speed, uh, as well as ports that are included in the port channel. And we see that the two ports 90 and 94 are part of the port channel. Obviously the port channel is not up yet since we have not configured anything on the fabric interconnects. One last thing we have to do uh, is to provision the port channels for UCS mode. We now go through the same steps on fabric B, validating we have the right blade, configuring the E nodes, then take the ports offline, the flex ports so we can change them to ethernet ports. Once we have them as Ethernet ports, we configure the VLAN. We name the VLAN in Fabric B2222. We configure the port channel. And the same here. The port channel is not online yet, simply because we haven't configured the Fabric Interconnect side. One last thing we have to do uh, is to provision the port channels for UCS mode. With them in UCS mode, we are now ready to continue on to the UCS manager and configure the port channel from the Fabric Interconnect side. In the UCS manager, we drill down to the FCOE interfaces that we're going to use. We right click and say now we want to create an FCOE port channel. We give it an ID. It does not have to match with the ID that we used on the uh, Brocade SAN side, but obviously good housekeeping is to use the same ID. Then we add the ports that we have available to us, uh, port 35 and 36. And then we go ahead and do the same thing for the other fabric interconnect connecting to fabric B. So we create the port channel. Here we gave it ID 22 to fabric B. We give it a name. We select the ports, 35 and 36.
And now as we go back to the port channel that we created for Fabric A, we can see that the port channel has formed, the links are up, um, and we can validate the same thing for Fabric B. If we go back to the Brocade Sand, we can also see that now the Fabric, uh, the port channels are up, um, and we can run uh, LLDP to see the neighboring uh, ports on the Fabric Interconnects. With the port channels up, we can now see uh, in PIB devices logging in to the Brocade Fabric. So we validate that for both Fabric A and Fabric B, that we have the port channel up, LLDP is working, we can see NPIV devices logging in, so those are uh, the servers in our UCS chassis. And so now we can create uh, zoning in this example here, we're using pure zoning. Um, you can, for more detail on this, you can take a look at the deployment guide. It, this video here resembles the same devices as we have in the deployment guide, and there will be a link for that uh, in a few minutes within this presentation here. So now with the zoning completed, then we go to the server in the UCS chassis. In this case here is an ESXi host, and we validate that uh, the ESXi server has access to the LUN that we created the zoning for, and we can see that here. For more details on how to configure the port channels, please see the deployment guide as you can find in the link here, uh, as well as another video demonstration of how to validate that the port channels are fully functional with traffic distribution across links within a port channel and across port channels between the two fabrics. This concludes the demonstration. Thank you for watching.